Welcome to Simpro Mobile. In this video I'm going to show you how we edit a form and then push that across into your Simpro system. First of all you need to be running Simpro obviously and in here we'll open up our form portal. Once I'm logged in I'm going to select the service report RA because this is where we're going to be working now. So I click on service report RA and here's all the forms that are available in here now. Now I've already completed a form with a job that I've created in Simpro and I'm just going to send that now. So I'll tick send on my form and that's now transmitting from my pen to my phone. That will then connect through, send the data across and there it is, you've just heard that. So what I can do now is I'll go through and I'll just refresh this page by just clicking on the service report RA again and you'll see here we go Simpro user. So that's the form that's just come through that I've just completed then. Now you'll see a number of different things on here. First of all there's this report number 13526 and that's the handwriting recognition of the service report number on the top of my service report. So that's the red sequential number. And here's my job number 17479. So that's the Simpro job number that was sent out to the technician to complete on his job card. Now what I can do here I can actually open up the PDF document and I can see what I've written. So there we are, there's my report number that I wrote, there's the job number, here's all my other details. Okay, so that's great. I can do whatever I would normally do with a PDF. I can print it, email it, whatever I need to do at this point in time, or nothing because it automatically attach, attaches into the job in Simpro. Or I can just click anywhere on this line or on this icon and actually open up the edit process. And what this does is shows us the image of the form, just like the PDF, but it has a bunch of other stuff. So the first thing you'll see is up here in the top left corner. The job number 17479 is converted from the handwriting uh, that I had written in here. So it's actually already identified the correct job inside Simpro. Now if I wanted to assign that to another job I can just do the drop down arrow and I can click another job to assign that uh, form to. Now because that job was created in Simpro it's already assigned that to the correct department code there as well. Now you'll see there's all this orange writing over the top of the blue and that's just the handwriting recognition that can be converted. So you can see there's the Bradford was right, Rutherford was right, Steve is right, Jimmy is right, the report number and the job number were all correct, um, risk assessment all good is correct, I'll go down have a look at my part number, 2025 is correct, um, installed five new double GPO, tested out okay. So pretty much everything I've done is 100% um, accurate, so that's the, the power of the handwriting recognition that it gets pretty pretty good results. Now let's just assume here that um, that had been read incorrectly. You'll see that now it's actually read because it, the part number that I've just scribbled in there doesn't exist. So I can click in that and go, oh no, that should be a 2025 because the handwriting recognition got it wrong. And you'll see here, these are all the different individual parts that are assigned to 2025 but I'll just leave it as 2025 because I've got a default part inside my system that will um, recognize that. Now that's converted back to orange. So basically if everything's orange, everything is pretty much okay to go. Um, so what you'll also notice is I've ticked the job is complete, yes, and no follow-up required. That's all I need to do to edit a form. It's that simple. Just click into it, change any text you need. Uh, we can even add extra parts in here as well if we realize that they were supposed to um, use a two, three, four, five as well. Okay, I don't know if that exists, but just assume that it does. There we go. And there should have been one of them as well. So we can actually add extra parts in there. No, it doesn't like that part number, but we'll just leave it for the time being. Now we have three choices of what we can do. Number one, we can click on cancel changes. And what that's going to do is delete any of the changes that we've made to that form. Okay, so I'll just click on that and then it'll drop it straight back here into the edit page so we need to be able to edit that at a later time. We'll open that up again. Since we don't need to make any changes to this form I'll go through these other things. Save changes will save anything that you've done as an edit and save it back into the editor page so you can go back and do work at a later date or we can click on submit changes. By clicking on submit changes that will save all the changes that have been made and then push that directly to Simpro and as you can see it's now gone from the form editor. So anything that remains in the form editor has not been edited. That is work that needs to be completed and processed before it can be pushed into Simpro. In the next video I'll show you how it looks when it gets into Simpro.